Good to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Yeah. Do you feel alive today? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. It's a new year. This is my first sermon of the year. Come on now. And uh, I'm happy to be in the Lord's house this morning. Yeah. Before I get started, I want to tell you on the way up here this morning, I prayed. And you can ask my granny. I said, Lord, I want to see some new faces in your house this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And I've invited people this week, and two of them are here. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So I want to ask you this morning, who are you inviting to church? Because they might just show up, all right? Yeah. Yeah. And I just want to thank the Lord for that this morning. All right, so if you have your Bibles, I'm going to... Read a few different scriptures this morning. I want you to go to Psalms 34, but I'm going to start at Psalms 100. Okay, so go to Psalms 34, and I'm going to Psalms 100, so you don't get confused. And while you're turning, I'm having a word of prayer. Lord, I thank you for the day that you have prepared for your people. Lord, I thank you for the salvation that you've given us. I thank you for the souls that come out to your house this morning. Lord, I thank you for the spirit that's in this place. Yeah. Lord, I thank you for your Holy Ghost unction down inside. Lord, I pray that we have a song in our heart and a melody in our spirit this morning. Lord, I thank you for everything you've done for us. Yeah. Lord, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that the fire fall in here. Yeah. I pray, Lord God, that you anoint me like no other day, Father, to speak your word. Yeah. Lord, I pray that my breath will be the living, breathing breath of God. And I pray this for the congregation. Yes, Lord, I ask that you forgive me of all of my sins and wash me white as snow. Lord, I pray that this will be the prayer of every soul in this place, that we can come to know who you are and what you've done for us. Yeah. Lord, I thank you for your word this morning. I thank you most of all for the opportunity to stand in your house yeah. and to preach your word. Yeah. Lord, I ask that you would bless it and that you would watch over it. In amen. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen. 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 All right, so you're at 34 and I'm at 100. Say if you, amen if you got it. Amen. All right, verse, Psalms 100 says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, coming before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Yeah. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and enter into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. The mercy, his mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Yeah. Now if you're at 34, I want to read that to you. Amen. Amen. Now it says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. Yeah. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all of my fears. They looked unto him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all of his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. Yeah. Oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there are no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come ye children, hearken unto me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life and loveth many days, but he may see good. Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good, seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all troubles. And the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, 
and say that such as be of a contrite spirit, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. Yes. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteousness shall be desolate. The Lord redeemed the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Now this morning I want to talk a little bit about praising God. Come on, Because as a church, not just our church, but as a church in America as a whole, we have lost our praise. Yeah. Come on, church. Yeah. We've lost our praise in God. We don't praise God like we used to praise God. I remember when I first got saved and I first started doing the things that I was supposed to be doing in his word, I wanted to praise God. Amen. Come on, on y'all. We had a song down in our soul when we first gave our heart to Jesus. Right. We had a fire burning down inside like never before when we first got right with God. Amen. When we first started getting around the saints of God, I'm talking about those holy saints, and we started feeling the presence and the power of God, we had a praise down in our heart, didn't we? Amen. But the church... Throughout this year and throughout the things that's going on in our own personal lives, we've lost our praise. And God's been dealing with me about that. Yeah. And you know my sermons, they never been praise God sermons, amen. It's been repentance. And we can't lose the repentance, but we can't lose our praise. This morning in the house of God, I come to magnify his name. Wow. Yeah. I come that his Namely, his praises would be continually in my mouth. Not to get saved and burn out along the way. Come on, church. I'm talking about praising God. We lost our praise. We've let things happen in the world, but we don't praise God anymore. You know, when I first got saved, I'd walk around singing. I just sang because it was a song down in my heart, what he done for me. And I'm going to tell you the reason that we stopped praising God. Because we forgot about his promise. Yeah. Oh, come on, church. Let's preach this morning. Preach yeah. Let's preach this morning. We have forgot about the promises of God. You say, well, what's the promise of God? And I'm going to lay the foundation for you right here. Jesus Christ was born of a virgin. Come on, church. Yeah. Come on, church. He was born of a virgin in the manger. He grew up as the son of God here on earth. Oh, y'all ain't hearing me now. He went to the cross to save me from my sins. He shed his blood on the cross of Calvary to save each and every one of your souls this morning. He died for me. And that's just the beginning. Come on, church. And since he died for me and his blood has been applied to my life, I am righteous through his blood. Amen. I have happiness through his blood. Everything that he has is mine and everything I have is his. It's a covenant relationship with him. Come on, church. But that's just the beginning. See, he saved my soul. He died on the cross, but he went up to the Father. And this morning, he's sitting on the right hand of God. And in just a little while, God's going to look at his son and he's going to say, Go get my children. Oh, I'm talking about the blessed hope. I'm talking about when that shofar sounds and the dead in Christ shall rise and the dead raises up out the grave and we fly out of here to meet God in the air and we live with him throughout eternity. I'm talking about a blessed hope. I'm talking about the old oval where Jesus reached way down for me and pulled me out of drugs and addiction and alcohol and running the roads and acting like a fool. Come on, oh, come on, church. You don't believe me? You can ask some people in here. Amen. Number one man I want you to ask is go ask my daddy how stupid I was. Amen. Go ask my family back here in the back row. Ask my stepbrother Scott how I truly was because they know Come on, church. But God knew. And he reached so far down for me. And I wasn't too bad for God. And when he reached down, he pulled me out. And he covered me with his blood. And today I'm saved. I'm sanctified. And praise God, I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Yeah. 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 I 
ain't the same man I used to be. I'm not that same person I used to be, Scott. I'm different. I'm changed. Why? Because I have a blessed hope. See, when you know the promise of God, what he done for you in your life, and what he's getting ready to do when he breaks those clouds, when we go to live with him forever throughout eternity, you can praise God. See, you can't praise God without a blessed hope. You can't praise God without the promise. You can't praise God without that promise. Amen. See, when you know the promise of God, that brings hope in your life. Yes. I got hope this morning. Come on. I'm not talking about the hope that the world has. Yeah. Come on, their hope's different. Mm -hmm. They hoping that they'll get rich. Mm -hmm. Come on, church. Yeah. They got a lot of hopes. They're hoping on that stimulus check. Come on. Come on, I work for the post office. I've been answering the phone. Yeah. And I can't tell you how many days they call and say, hey, my stimulus check come in yet. They're hoping on that money, amen. Yeah. They're hoping on houses. They're hoping on land. They're hoping on new cars. They're hoping on all these things. But my hope's a little different than the world's hope. Because I got a home in glory. I got a home in that eternal shore. I got a home in heaven that's not going to fade away. And I've got a promise from my God. A personal promise of, that'll never go back. Jesus ain't going to go back on his word or on his blood. If he said it, he meant it. To, if he said it, he'll do it. To, if he said it, he'll perform it in your life. He said he watches over his word. Yeah. Come on, y'all. See, this morning, I know my promise, Troy. I know what God done for me. I know what he's promised me. And I know that he'll keep his word. That gives me hope so I have a praise in my heart. Yeah. Yeah. Now let's get into something else. Praise. In Psalms 22... God, it says that God inhabits the praises of his people. Amen. Yeah. Oh, let's preach now. Mm -hmm. Come on, y'all. I said God inhabits the praises of his people. Yes. Thank you. So when you know the promise of God and you have that hope that he can change your life throughout eternity, never to look back on that anymore. Not only that, but he'll take you into his kingdom to live with him forever. Amen. And as we know that here on earth, and we start praising God with that song we got down deep in our heart, yes, God inhabits the praises of his people. Yeah, so when I open my mouth continually and start praising God, he inhabits that praise. Amen. Now you say, well, what does inhabit mean? To come into to dwell in, Amen. to occupy. Amen. That's the definition of inhabit. Oh, come on, church. So when I think about the Lord and what he's done for me, when I think about that salvation that I have one day when that trumpet sounds and I'm called up out of this place, and I start praising God like I'm doing right now in front of you, the Holy yeah. Ghost will come and inhabit that praise. Because it's three in one. The Holy Ghost, he's God too. And he inhabits my praise. I get free. Oh, come on, church. I'm, I'm tough preaching. Oh, well, you're doing a good job this morning. Come on, y'all. I'm preaching to you this morning. I said God inhabits the praises of his people. Thank you, Jesus. And when he comes in and inhabits that praise. There's liberty. Yeah. And I want to read that to you. Amen. You don't have to go there, but I'm going there. Okay. I'm going there, y'all. <laughs> Second Corinthians 3 and 17, and this is what it says. Oh. Let me get there. I gotta read it for you. Second Corinthians 3 and 17. Now the spirit, now the Lord is that spirit, and where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So when we know that hope, when we have that promise, and we have that hope of the promise down deep in our hearts, we start praising God, and that inhabitation comes in, and that Holy Spirit starts to dwell inside of our soul, and we've got a song down deep in our heart. He comes and inhabits that praise. Amen. 
that brings liberty. For liberty and justice for all. Come on, church. What's liberty? Liberty is freedom. See, he who the Son sets free is free indeed. I'm not bound by bondage. The alcohol don't got no hold on me no more. Come on, those addictions that I used to have, they just fall off and roll off. Amen. Why? Because I'm free in Jesus. Amen. He freed my soul, and I've been set free. Come on, church. Come on, church. You are overcomers by the word of God and the testimony. And they love not their lives unto death. That's what the word of God says. When's the last time we shared our testimony and started praising God? I'm talking about in your house. Yeah. When's the last time you just cut loose praising God in the house? Oh, when the saints <laughs> go marching in. Oh, when yeah. the saints go marching in. Oh, I won't be in that number. When the saints go marching oh, in. Give them a little step. Yeah. When's the last time you got some joy in your life? Praise See, if God. you knew the, the promises of God, and you let him save your soul and pull you out of all that stuff that you caught up in. Come on. And then you get that hope down inside and you get that song in your soul. You got that, that melody down in your heart and you can't shut up. Then you start praising, amen. And when you start praising, the Holy Spirit comes in and starts dwelling in you. It dwells in you. And that's when you see that fire in your eye. That's when you get a little grit in your gut. And no matter what comes, you free. Yes. See, when the devil comes and lies to you, but you've been praising God, you know what your hope is in Jesus, and you standing on the promises of God, yeah. it don't matter what he got to say. Yeah. Come on, y'all. It don't matter what the devil's come run up his mouth. It don't matter why. Because I'm free. Yeah. I'm free. I'm free from all that old stuff. I'm free from everything he's got to come and put on me. And I want to tell you this morning, if you can have it, God can heal it. Yeah. Yeah. I stole that saying. <laughs> Amen? Amen. Sometimes we got to sacrifice praise. Yeah. Oh, y'all want me to read you that scripture too? <laughs> I'm going to, all right? Let's go to Hebrews 13. <laughs> Hebrews 13, 15 and 16, okay? This is what it says. By him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to God continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. But to do good and to communicate, forget not, for with such sacrifices, God is well pleased. Yeah. You say, well, what's a sacrifice of praise? How do you sacrifice praise? See, when we know that blessed hope, when we standing on that promise, and the devil comes in and starts running his mouth, <laughs> or a situation comes up. And it don't look like we're going to make it through to the other side. That's when you praise God. Come on. Oh, yeah. You say, well, it's hard to praise God in the middle of the storm. Yes, Come on, on y'all. Yeah. I'm going to give you an example. Wayne Cassidy went home to be with the Lord this, this week. Yeah. Margaret took care of him hand and foot each and every day. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Yeah. And you say, well, how can we praise God after he left here and Margaret's going to be at home alone? Yeah. I'll tell you how you praise God. Because when he took that last breath. Come on, come on. Oh, church. I said when Wayne Cassidy took his last breath, he went into the arms of Jesus. And he's praising God forevermore right now. That's a sacrifice of praise. That's when we see the same man come into the house of God who probably most people wouldn't even think about coming. Come on, y'all. Yes. Nanny texted me and said, Wayne left to die. And I said, don't be sad. That's right. Don't be sad he was ready to go. 
Yes. Oh, church. Yes. So this morning as I stand here, it don't matter what comes knocking on your door. I don't care if death comes. I can still praise God. I still got a song in my heart. I can still give him a shout. Why? Because I have that blessing. Yes. That's a sacrifice Thank of praise. You, Thank you, when the doctor walks in and tries to put something on you. Come on, that's the devil lies. He lies. Yeah. When that doctor comes in and tries to put something on you, when the IRS calls up and tries to tell you they got this and that, and you're going to get an audit. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Let's get real. <laughs> Amen? Amen? I can still praise God. Yeah. I can still praise God. Amen. I can still praise God. I said I can still praise God yeah. because I know the promises of God yeah, and he's made a covenant with me. Yes. Thank you. Amen. Ain't that good? Yes. 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 Man, we ought to be doing a little boot stomping here. <laughs> uh, come on, y'all. What God's done for us, where he's brought us from, we lose our praise in the midst of coronavirus? Come on, let's preach a little bit. Yeah. We lose our praise because they say we can't do this and they say we can't do that. Well, I tell you what, they'll never shut me up. They'll never take my praise and they won't take the word of God out of my heart because he's written in fire. And this morning as I stand here, I know that I've been redeemed. The world can't take that from me. Shut the building down. He's living inside because he inhabits the praises of his people. Do you hear what I'm telling you this morning? We get the power. See, this is a formula. You know what Jesus done for you. You know what he's done for you. You know what he can do for you if you submit yourself to him. And then you have that praise down in your heart. And that Holy Spirit will come and dwell and live inside of you. And in Acts chapter 1 and 8, they said that we would receive power once the Holy Ghost come on us. Yes. Yes. I said power. You said power to do what? Number one thing he said was power to cast out devils. Come on. You say you ever cast out devils? I said, I don't know, but I can. <laughs> I can. Why? Because Jesus said I could. Yeah. He said greater other things. I, the things, the works that I do, even greater than works that ye do. Because I go unto my Father. Yeah. Come on, y'all. Anything ye ask in my name, that will I do, is what Jesus said. Yeah. Amen. I put devils on the run this morning. Yeah. Why? Because the Lord said I could. Amen. I can lay my hands on the sick and they shall be healed. Yeah. Why? Because Jesus Christ and the word of God says that I can. Come on, y'all. Amen. Come on, you said, well, I'm saved. Well, I asked him this morning. I said, well, what are you saved from? A lot of us say, well, we're saved from hell. Praise God, I'm saved from hell. That's one thing, but that's not all. That's not everything I'm saved from. I'm saved from anxiety. All oh, church, let's preach. I'm saved. Come on, I'm saved from sickness. I'm saved from poverty. I'm saying from everything the devil tries to run up in your face yeah. and say, hey, you're going to do this and you're going to live this way and this is how you're going to be and you're not going to change. I'm saved from all that. Because he shed his blood and I'm standing on the promises. Yeah. Yeah. Standing on the promises of God my Savior. Yeah. Come on, church. Yeah. Standing, standing, yeah. standing yeah. on the promises of God my Savior. Standing, standing. I'm standing on the promises of God. I said, I got a song in my heart. I know my blessed Redeemer lives. I know that he's alive. And I know one day that stoop on horns going to blow. And I'm going to be in that number. That gives me a praise, all right? That gives me something that I can shout about. That gives me something that I know that I can take to the bank. You said, well, I can't praise God. I said, yes, you can. Just open your mouth. Good. Ain't that good? That's good stuff, ain't it? That's the word of God. That ain't something I made up. I read you the scripture. Ain't God's word true? Do we believe it this morning? 
Yes. Well, have it. Amen. Have it. Receive it. See, all of these things work in us what? Holiness. Yeah. Holiness. See, in the days that we're living now, with everything going on in our country, with everything going on in the church, Amen. with everything going on in your personal life, with everything going on in your family's life, yeah. come on, church, we've lost our praise. And it's simple. If you'll stand on the word of God, yeah. you'll believe in his blessed hope. You praise him continually, no matter what. I don't care what it is. You praise God. Because yeah. it's a weapon. Then you start praising God and that spirit enters in. You got the power. Amen. And when the power comes in, that's when it brings forth holiness. Come on, church. Amen. I said holiness. Yeah. Holiness. Y'all y'all still with me, right? <laughs> I said holiness. holiness. See, I don't want to live my life no other way because I know what God has done for me and I know what he's getting ready to do. Yeah. Amen. So I can live holy. He said, be ye holy for I am holy. Amen. 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 You got the power. Mm -hmm. We've got the power in the name of Jesus. We've got the power in the name of the Lord. Though Satan rages, we will not be defeated. We've got the power in the name of the Lord. Now sing it one more time and I want you to say I instead of we. I've got the power in the name of Jesus. I've got the power in the name of the Lord. Though Satan rages, I will not be defeated. I've got the Foreign church, yeah. we got the power of the Most High God. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a joint heir with Jesus. Everything He's got, I've got. I've got the happiness. I've got the joy. I've got the praise. I've got the salvation. I've got the redemption. I've got the righteousness. I've got holiness. Why? Because He gave it to us on the cross of Calvary and All granted right. it to yeah. us yeah. on the right hand of the Father. Thank Will you stand with me this morning? Amen. Praise God.